so, it has finally came. Dragalia lost will end, and there's nothing we can do about it. I have expected this to happen, and honestly it isn't that surprising, but it is still quite sad to hear. Here in this video, I shall talk a bit about the possible factors leading to this, as well as my experiences in playing the game itself. From being a game well known in the past as a free to play friendly gacha game, to the present state, Dragalia Lost has seen drastic changes in its friendliness towards F2P players. In the past, DL was considered F2P friendly thanks to its generosity in summon tickets and Wimites. But then, everything changed when the Wimite drought came to be, reducing overall Wimite gain by nearly 50%. This coupled with the sparking system, is basically asking players, to spend more money in the game, to get the characters that they want. It was then, that it had lost its F2P friendly status. Another thing, we have not seen a new gacha 4 star character in a while now, with gold being the last gacha 4 star unit, way back in 2020. With this in mind, let's not forget that many of the 3 stars and 4 stars have become essentially obsolete, even for those who got their mana spirals, still become unusable, thanks to being screwed by Curse of Nihility. As for 5 stars, their relevance depends on the battle stakes that are available, with only a few units from each element being viable enough to clear most content with relative ease. Even characters in the past that were overhyped, have gradually been cast aside thanks to the ravages of time and increasingly difficult content. Speaking of content, endgame content is incredibly grindy, especially on the Dominion stages, with little drops per hard-earned win, increases the time and team building effort needed to grind enough materials for various purposes. I essentially had given up on the Dominion prints in favor of my time on other games that provide more interesting gameplay. These are in terms of the game content itself. In terms of purchasable entities in game, there isn't a single one that is worth of purchasing, in my opinion. For me, entities that are worth purchasing are those that require little spending to gradually get in game currency within a longer time span, which is something present in some other games in the form of monthly cards and battle passes. This is also why I have not spent any money in the game as of date, despite the fact that I spend money on other games, such as Genshin, which I spend relatively heavily on. For my experience, I started playing 6 months after the game's initial release, reeled in by my friends who played since day 1. We had fun co-op together, owning and getting owned by high dragon trials, that were difficult way back then, as well as showing off our pulls in collab banner such as the first Fire Emblem collab, that was ongoing when I joined. I started the channel somewhere at 2020, during the pandemic, just to spend extra time, while using my analytical skills as a science student. It eventually went well, rising till the 800 plus subs now, but at around the 700 mark, my friends started to quit, due to being burned out from the game. I also gradually felt burnt out, which is reflected by my upload frequency, which had became inconsistent. And now, when I had just made my comeback, now felt that same burnout again, when I went and grind Dominion stages once more. The only thing that keeps me from quitting entirely is the story of the game, which is captivating. So, what do you think about the news? Well, for me, it's a repeat of events. I used to play Muscrits, which also had the same fate, due to nearly identical reasons for Dragalia Lost now. Till today, many, including myself, yearn for the return of Muscrits. For Dragalia Lost, the captivating storyline, as well as well flushed out characters, are two of the few strong points that Dragalia Lost has going left. I strongly believe that when this game eventually goes down, many of us will miss it, and if it has a chance of return, hopefully it will be in a better state, but the chance of that happening isn't really optimistic with the current direction. If it had maintained its F2P friendly status, and even introduced monthly card and battle pass like entities in game, I believe that the game may have been able to retain and attract more players, while still making a decent profit. That's all for this video. Moga out.